What's up guys, Collector B here. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I hope you had a fantastic week. My week was uh, terrible, not fun. It was, it was a long, hard work week. Um, really long night last night. So if I look a little tired today, guys, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm here, we're doing it. We got some fines. I didn't get to go hunting as much as I really wanted to this week, but thank God for some of my fellow collectors who are my boys, hooked me up with stuff. And, you know, we did get lucky on some stuff and got some pre-orders in. So super, super excited. Uh, again, if you guys are new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And all y'all who keep coming back, you are the best. The best. Oh, yeah. Uh, we are almost to 700 subs, so that is super exciting. You guys are great. Uh, I love the support. You guys are so awesome. Uh, I did want to touch base with one thing, so go check out. I'll leave this link in the description. Uh, or Sorry, leave the link below in the description. Uh, MMPRFan94. This is a guy uh, I met through YouTube doing these videos, and he does a lot of videos on Power Rangers uh, and some other stuff, Star Wars, stuff like that really nice guy super awesome he just put out a video of his lightsabers uh from star wars really cool he duels with his cousin on him really awesome so go check him out really cool channel uh does some really interesting things so that link will be in the description below so just wanted to give him a shout out and yeah uh so holothon if you guys don't know what holothon is uh, it happened kind of this past week. It's still going on. It's pretty much NECA just saying, here you go. Here's everything. Spend your money. Spend your money. Go find it. And wow, crazy stuff coming out. Super excited to have two of the things here from that. Couldn't find some of the things I wanted, so hopefully we'll find them this week. But let's get into the video. There is two things on here I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to open. And one of them, because it's not mine. So... Let's move some stuff. I'm super excited for some of this stuff though, but there's some big stuff on here, so we're gonna have to get creative. So, first thing we got is AEW Sting. Uh, I did find a bunch of these this week at Walmart. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of AEW, so I don't collect them, but this is for someone. I actually have now shipped out probably two or three of these for people. I can't find them this was at walmart i don't know if this one is the walmart exclusive or not i know there was a different one that is a walmart exclusive uh, i have found this as well at target but he had his coat so there's a couple different stings from aew it is a really cool figure i'm not a huge aew fan like i said sting is pretty cool but uh this is just for someone else but i just wanted to show you guys that that is at walmart's they're popping up all over by me I've found probably seven or eight of them in the last couple days. So got this for somebody. We'll send this out soon. So pretty cool, though. I do like how he looks. The face is really awesome. And, you know, his costume's pretty cool. I do think the one with the coat is a little bit better, though. So there's Sting. Just wanted to show that. Not opening it up because it's not for me. So next thing we're not going to open up. But I am going to do a little bit of comparison is this, uh, with this. Jeez. McFarlane two-pack superman versus the armored batman from the dark knight returns so super cool that is one of my favorite comics i'm sure if you guys have watched my videos you've heard me talk about it a lot and i do have a lot of these figures from mattel i do have a two-pack from it from mattel maybe i'll pop in a picture here of it they were all black which was really cool so i really like the idea of the two-pack my only thing is we've pretty much now got three of these armored dark knights and this Superman looks exactly the same to me. So the cool thing is, I will show on the back of the box. Um, they do have, well, no, this is the wrong box. I do like the picture. Um, but as you can see, the figures below, again, it's kind of some repeats. Uh, you have the Harley Quinn on the roller skates and just not any new ones coming out. But I did get this off GameStop, pre-ordered it. It did end up showing up this week. And haven't seen anybody find it in store yet, but I would assume you could probably find it at GameStop soon. That's probably the first place I would go look. But the one thing I do like about this, I do have the first Armored Batman that came out. Um, I don't have the blue one because I just didn't really want to get it. 
But you can tell the one in the two pack is more like the blue one, but they did change the eyes, which is really cool. Uh, the eyes are more comic book accurate in the two pack. They have that more of that triangle. Is he on that side? Uh, <laughs> my bad. Um, he it does have more of that triangle distinct look, like from the comics, unlike this one. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it looks pretty much the same. Obviously, the color is different than this one because this was the first release, but really cool. I do have the other Superman, obviously, if you've watched my channel with the Build-A-Figure, uh, but he looks exactly the same as this one. You don't get any different fists or different head sculpts, so that is kind of a bummer, and I'm not a huge fan of this head anyway. So I'm not going to pop it open, unfortunately, because I do like to keep these in box. Um, the base, it's kind of hard to see for you guys. The base is going to be exactly like the other two packs, just that, you know, kind of cheap plastic. It's a little bit different. It's pretty cool looking though. I do, I will say, um, and then the background in this box is pretty cool too. I really like that they did a background and that's kind of also the reason I'm just going to keep it in box, but, uh, just wanted to show you guys that. I know I'm not opening it. I'm terrible. Boo. Boo. That's 0 for 2 so far, but. We are opening everything else. So pretty cool again. Uh, I would say check your GameStops. I have not seen it in store yet, but I'm sure it's going to be coming. So, oh, I don't even know what to start with. I'm super excited. We'll probably do the turtles last, I guess, because there's four of them. But yeah, let's do this. Okay, I'm going to put the turtles on the ground so I get some more room. Holothon, like I was saying. Okay, so Holothon is basically NECA again throwing everything out at once with you you have I'll post a picture of what we found right here but you have Muckman which glows in the dark you have Pizza Monster which is super cool they're reissuing the Rat King 2 pack and then they have a Gremlins they have uh, I don't remember the back to Griff from Back to the Future which I don't collect they have an Evil Dead figure they also have Elvira and the Mummy, which both look fantastic, but I did not find those. So we are looking for those. I do really want those. Uh, and then they do have a Bebop and Rocksteady uh, robot two-pack, which is really cool. Didn't find that. They do have the robot from Ninja Turtles. I Fugitoid or something like that. I can't remember his name. He's pretty small, though, so I didn't pick him up. I did find him. Uh, and then was there anything else there? There is like a tote you can get that says Holothon. Wolfman. There's a little plush. Oh, Wolfman as well. I'm not a huge fan of Wolfman, so I didn't grab him. I did see him. Uh, and then there's just some other random stuff there, but it's crazy. They're hitting targets. I've seen a lot of people find them. I, my target by me just, God, just have not, hasn't gotten anything. Uh, the one by my work did have some stuff, so we did pick some stuff up. But before I found it, my buddy Jason, again from Philly, just coming in clutch, found me the Glow in the Dark Muck Man. Now, I did not grab the original Muck Man. He's not my favorite turtle. I will open this in a second. But this Glow in the Dark one, oh man. So if you're like me and you waited and you're like, you know, I don't want that Muck Man, I would highly suggest getting this. I did find a couple of these the other day, but I got this last week, so it's all good. Um, but goof, the glow in the dark, man. Look how cool that is. Really, really cool. I'm super excited to pop this open. I think it just makes it look so much better. And it was already a decent figure. I just, again, it was nothing really about the figure that I was like, hey, um, it looks terrible. I'm not getting it. I just not a huge fan of Muckman. I did always think the figure was cool. I did end up picking it up for somebody as well. But, oh man, I had to get this glow in the dark one. It's so, so cool. So let's pop it open. And the one thing I will say about this guy is he does come with a lot of accessories. I really do like this background as well. Pretty cool. So if you got creative with that, you could probably use that for some figures if you wanted to take some pictures. So pretty cool. The box is super awesome too. I would totally leave this in box. I wanted to open this though because I didn't get the first one. But man, look at that guy. He just looks fantastic. And again, the first one looked fantastic as well. But I am super happy I waited because this just is awesome. So as you can see he comes with a ton of stuff which is cool so you do have the little trash can which is awesome i believe that little 
the, that guy goes in it. Yeah, I don't remember his name. What is his name? It is Joe Eyeball. That's right. So he does come with Joe Eyeball's trash can and Joe Eyeball. He comes with an extra mouth, which is super cool. I actually didn't realize that in the first one. I don't remember if he did with the first one. He probably did, but that is really cool. <clears throat> da -da. Then you have an alternate hand where he can hold stuff and you can just see how it glows. It's just so cool. It's like, what did you say? Is that neon, I guess, kind of? I'm Glow gonna, in the dark. I'm going to have to see how this looks with a black light, though. I bet it looks really cool. It might, Probably. maybe not. Uh, and then you have another alternate hand where he kind of is holding things, but he kind of has that claw finger going on there, which is awesome. He does come with this gun, which is actually pretty cool. It's like a trumpet. It's like a trumpet gun there, which is really awesome. It's probably like a ray gun, I would assume. So, again, pretty decent on accessories there. Oh, almost cut Joe Eyeball's head. I can't get it. Come on. Oh, this dude's pretty cool, honestly. Okay, so there's Joe Eyeball. He does have a couple paint scuffs on him. His uh, face has some white on it. But he is pretty cool. And again, the coloring on him is really, really nice. I do really like that. I love how it's almost translucent as well. Super awesome. So there's Joe Eyeball. Oh, this is sealed? Interesting. Does this actually come with ooze? It does. Does it really? Did you see him on the box? Yeah, but I didn't know if it actually came no, with ooze. I don't know. Probably oh. doesn't. Okay, so you have... It feels like there's stuff in here. So you have a... Oh, well, that's a bummer, though. Huh, well, that's a bummer. So you do have the plastic around it, and I wish this was actually on the barrel. It's just on the plastic, so I'll have to see. You supposed to take the plastic off. Oh, I guess not, but I want to open it. Can you not open it? Oh, no, there is ooze in here. Wow, okay, I didn't realize that. Oh. There is totally ooze in here. I, I honestly thought everybody who was doing pictures with this, like, went and bought their own ooze. Um, so that's really cool. I didn't realize that. My only complaint, like I said, I would like to... Let me see. Oh, oh you can. Cool. Put it on straight. Yeah, I probably won't. Okay, so it is just a sticker. That's cool. I was going to say that's kind of a bummer. So really cool. I didn't... Again, I didn't realize you got ooze. So yeah, we might have to use that with pictures. So that's cool. So now I realize where everybody got that ooze. Oh, man. But he is zip tied in here, pretty crazy, all over. Okay. The one thing I noticed when I first bought the original one of him is just how heavy he is. Um, he's actually not that heavy of a figure when you take him out like this, but the box is pretty heavy. Okay. Oh, he's still got some zip tie around him. His leg is a little dainty there, so oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so here he is. Let me uh, stretch these arms out. I got more on there? My goodness. So there he is. There is Muckman, and it is... The glow in the dark version, which is super, super cool. Uh, I am really excited about this. I think it's awesome. Uh, he does, he's going to be exactly like the other one. So if you have the other one, you know, not much difference, obviously, besides the look. Um, he bends actually very well. His legs, you can hear they're cracking. Everybody is going to yell at me if your leg comes off here, Muck. So please don't break on me. Um, actually saw a post this morning. Make sure you heat those figures. Whatever. But I'm just, I again, guys, like, I'm just kind of sick of it. But whatever. I wonder how you take this mouth off, though. Okay. I feel like I'm going to break it, so we ain't going to do it. But he's really cool. What I do like, instead of just, like, a stand, he's on the sewer, which is cool. Because you can pose him like this, which is really awesome. I'm not going to have him hold that. 
But let's put July ball in here. He's supposed to go. Does he hook in the back there? I think he does. Oh, no. we're good. Yep. So <laughs> that is really cool. Only thing I wish he could be up higher. I mean, you could put him like that, which is cool. So he's up higher, but it's really good. I'm super excited about this. I think it's awesome. And the ooze is really cool as well, or the slime, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I love it. The gun, honestly, I don't really care about the gun. To me, if you're going to be like this monster, I'm just not a huge fan of the gun. I guess you could have Joe Eyeball hold it. No, okay, not really, but really cool. I really like this. I think it is fantastic. Um, so let's let's see something. There's it's too many lights on in here. For sure, it's not going to do it. We have too many ring lights on right now. Maybe I'll do it after and I'll pop it in right here. Okay, guys, so here is Muckman with the lights off. So it's super hard to get a good picture of him glowing in the dark. He does glow pretty well. But it is very hard to kind of show that on camera. So just wanted to show you guys. He is fantastic though. Just to kind of show. So, But really cool. I really love it. Just everything on it looks really cool. The details, just everything he has on him is just really, really awesome. Again, you know, this isn't nothing new if you guys have the first one. There's not much difference. Just look at the coloring though. It's really awesome. And like I said, I will try to do... Uh, a thing here so you guys can see it glow in the dark but really cool a nice surprise about the ooze again like i said i didn't pick up the first one so don't yell at me guys i didn't know it came with ooze so there he is i really like it i'm probably just gonna pose him like that i might switch out his hands but that's really cool so okay so before we get to the four pack of turtles this is probably my favorite thing here and i was waiting and waiting and waiting and finally hasbro pulse came in clutch boom so we have the power rangers lightning collection with teenage mutant ninja turtles morphed shredder and how awesome this is from the comics um i grabbed the first issue of this comic and i just wasn't a huge fan i do like the art in it but i just wasn't a huge fan so i didn't pick up a lot of those i don't even think i picked up any more besides issue number one but I'm sorry if you're going to do a green shredder for me. That's sick. I didn't grab any of the others because I'm just not a fan of the face sculpts of the turtles. And I mean, the ranger helmets are pretty cool, but they just, I don't know. They didn't really do it for me, but I did. When this guy went up for pre-order, I pre-ordered it right away. So Hasbro Pulse finally came through for me. Got me this guy. Super excited to open this. And what's really nice, guys, what is really nice. Do you know what he comes with? A cloth. Oh, a cloth cape. At least I'm almost positive it's cloth. It's not cloth. If it's not, I'm going to be pissed. But how cool, right? So let's pop it open. I do like the box. I thought about keeping him in box as well, but he's just way too cool not to open. So uh, background, nothing crazy. Kind of boring. Do, do, do. And here he is. And honestly, what's kind of a bummer, though, is look how open that box is, mm -hmm. though. Like... You so much just, room for accessories. Yeah, just give me some more accessories, right? Exactly. But it's cloth. It's cloth, <laughs> folks. It's cloth. So, you know, I'm excited about that. All right. Let's see what we got. So, do, do, do. this is actually pretty cool because it showed up on St. Patrick's Day. So, how about that? You guys might have seen the picture on Instagram that I did. And so here we go. You got these effects. It's like his, uh, ugh, I don't even know what they're called. I'm going to call them claws, but they're not claws, obviously. But those are kind of cool. I didn't I'm, know you were opening Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero, right? But, uh, you know, I'm again, the only my only complaint with the Lightning Collection is some of these effects. This one's a little bit better made because it's hard. But the, like, little spirally things they give you for stuff, they just don't stay on, which is kind of a bummer. Um, so... You do have alternate hands, which is cool. They are fist hands with his little Wolverine claws there. Uh, one is kind of bent already, but that's all right. We're good. The pegs on these are tiny, though. So I would be very careful putting them in. Look at me telling people to be very careful. 
Uh, and then you, again, same thing, just the other fist hand. So again, nothing crazy that you're getting with him. Um, I don't care. It's not bad. It looks like a really cool figure just to begin with. So he's also not zip tied in anywhere, which is kind of interesting that the Lightning Collection doesn't seem to do that. I'm so excited. So I wonder if his belt. Oh, the cape is cool. Oh, the cape is cool. So my belt's a little. Maybe it is supposed to be this side like that. See, I can just. This is what's crazy. And somebody commented on my YouTube channel the other day about Hasbro and how Marvel Legends is so much better. And oh, oh, Maybe. I say that. We're going to have to be careful. His ankle's a little messed up, but I usually don't have issues with Hasbro stuff. But let's let's show this guy. He is a little tight in places. His arm I can feel. But again, nothing has fallen off. So there is morphed. He's not going to stand for me, is he? That's because of this ankle. Bummer. Come on. You're good. Morphed Shredder. Awesome. I think it looks fantastic. Like, really, really cool. It's just a really cool concept. I really think the Dragon Shield whoo, makes it look over the top. It's just awesome. Uh, the paint apps on this one, I didn't get a look at it too much. But look pretty good. I have seen, I'll show again, but I have seen a bunch of people get this and kind of have some issues with the paint apps. He actually looks super solid to me. And it's just awesome. The morpher on the bottom on his belt and we'll show the back when i get to it but he doesn't want to stand very well which is kind of a bummer it's like he's top heavy but he shouldn't be but really cool the detail is awesome i love the helmet the helmet is fantastic just overall just looks really really well done and then you've got kind of the back here with a cloth cape and it's shredded for shredder really cool uh -huh. so I am super digging this figure. He is really awesome. There is the back. Any paint scuffs on the back? Nothing, right? Not Honestly, really, no. the paint on this guy looks really, really good. I really like that green as well. It's not so bright. And he just looks fantastic. There's the height compared to Muckman. So Muckman's a little bit bigger, obviously, but... This Shredder scales pretty well with him. Shredder's not that big of a dude to begin with until he becomes Super Shredder. So, I love it. I do wish maybe, like, and I know this is comics, so I didn't read it. A canister or something, you know, or even his weapon, his, like, staff. But, again, I didn't read it, so he probably didn't use it in there. But, pretty cool. Um, these things. Interesting. Do you just stick them? Oh, Lord. Oh, that's weird. They go down? If you guys see that, it looks like they go down, which is kind of interesting. It's like kind of like a, like he's actually slashing, I guess. It's supposed to give you that effect. I guess that kind of looks funny to me. I would almost want them out like this, but they do go on pretty nice. They just go on to the claws so you can see him. Which is kind of cool. It does give him kind of a cool effect, but like the wife said, Sub-Zero. So really cool. I'm digging it. I really am. I do like that they gave you fist hands as well, which is super cool. They just don't give you a ton with this figure, which is kind of a bummer, but oh man. So the only question I have for everybody, and I did ask this on my Instagram, where does he go? Does he go with the Power Rangers display or... And I'm not going to get up, but she can probably show you. Does they go? Does he go with my turtle display? Hard decision. To me, he looks more like a Power Ranger, obviously. So he's probably going to go there. I don't know, though. But really fantastic. I love this thing. This thing is really, really cool. Oh, oh um, honestly, um, these two figures are super cool. And I am very excited to have them both. So... Again, that was on Hasbro Pulse. I did think I saw somebody find it at GameStop as well. So if you didn't get your pre-order and check GameStops, I'm sure they'll hit targets uh, soon. 
My target never gets any Power Rangers, though. I mean, we still haven't seen Eye Guy or the Pig. I do have the Pig, or the Eye Guy, but whatever. So, Holothon, back to it, back to it. All right, so you have the four-pack of the Ninja Turtles. Now, I wasn't sure if I was going to get this uh, because I do have the four turtles already from the first issue of two packs when they came with Shredder, a foot soldier, uh, Krang, and I believe another foot soldier. But I decided I wanted to get these four so I could open it. I don't have a tune set open. I did get the Turtles in the Skies. Wasn't really feeling them, so I kind of let those go. But we're going to open it up. Uh, you can see on the side, there's some artwork on the side of what is Mikey and uh, Raph over there. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then on the other side, you have Leo and Donnie. What I will say, it's really cool if you missed out on the first issues that they put all four together. Because that was my biggest complaint when they first came out. I was like, oh, I have to buy four different packs. I didn't necessarily want the Foot Soldiers. You know, Shredder and Krang, that's cool. But it's really cool that they put all four. They are the lighter style greed. Uh, the first issues were the darker style, which I prefer more, but that's okay. And what's really cool is on the back of the box, one, the art is fantastic. Two, they do show you a couple of the figures from Holothon. So the Toka and Razor 2-pack, I haven't seen anybody find that from Holothon. It did go up for pre-order, I believe. Uh, I missed out. I heard that was not fun trying to pre-order Holothon. Uh, and then you have Muckman on there, and you do have the Robot, Bebop, and Rocksteady, which I am looking for. I am super excited to find those, so didn't see those. But let's go ahead and open it up. This was pretty expensive. This was like 150 something dollars. So, 160 Well, with tax, it was like 160 So you're going to have to drop some money on it, but if you don't have the first release of Turtles, it's not bad. You get all four. So... This one thing is NECA is destroying people's wallets right now. I mean, the stuff that they are dropping. Again, if you haven't seen the Elvira, it looks amazing. It really, really does. So, let's pull it out. There it is. So, that's what she said. Oh, wow. Okay. So, anyways, so there's the background. It's kind of like a turtle lair, I guess, or just sewers kind of really dark kind of boring which uh kind of disappointing it's not that cool did you just get a nasty reflection off yeah that? Is that all you it's got? just glare Ooh, yeah i'm sure <laughs> okay my bad guys um but here you go so the one thing i will say compared to a lot of the other packs that they do like this you don't get too much different accessories i do like a lot of the stuff that is in this and that's fine with me i get it though a lot of people are complaining because turtles in the skies came with so much stuff but i do like this a lot so here we go um we're gonna do this really weird we're gonna start with my least favorite turtle to my favorite turtle so and i'm probably gonna get some hate with that so let's pop and we're gonna do the turtles first and then the accessories okay so we have oh his arm is super bent oh goodness wow it's gonna snap Watch. shouldn't have opened it yep okay i don't even want to bend that we're gonna have to heat this up now and see like here's the thing guys is I, I can tell, obviously, when it's going to break, but sometimes stuff just breaks on you. I do these videos for you guys right out of box. I want to show you, um, you know, my loss is your gain, I guess. If my stuff breaks, it is what it is. You know, it's it's toys to me. I love collecting, and yeah, I will, will be mad if stuff breaks, but it happens. You know, move on. We're all good. So his left arm is super stiff for me to bend up there, but I do think Donnie looks pretty good. I do like the hints of the black lines around them i think it just kind of brings out the coloring a little bit more again this is more of the lighter style it does look really good though i think he does look fantastic and yes donnie is my least favorite ninja turtle uh it is what it is he's really cool i don't hate donnie but he's just not my favorite details always really good with NECA uh with these turtles i really like them they do give you interchangeable heads i thought and let me see on the box so you can you can switch out the bottom uh face part i believe 
which I'm not a huge fan of, honestly. And that's why I didn't really like my Turtles in Disguise because this part, they let you switch out. And on some of them, it just, you can kind of see, I'll show you on Raph and Mikey, they kind of show it pretty well. Donnie doesn't look too bad. It almost doesn't look like this one comes off at all. And I don't think it does. Maybe it's on his, it's on his alternate head. So kind of weird there, but you can see, wow. Yeah, Raph is really bad, but let's get, we'll take them out. So there's Donnie, pretty solid. My second least favorite Ninja Turtle is Raphael. And a lot of people probably don't agree with that either because everybody likes Raphael. But, oh lord. Yeah, I'm not going to do a lot of articulation with these um, because I probably will have to heat them up because these are super stiff. I mean, even just compared to Muckman, they're crazy stiff. So, here's kind of what I'm talking about. Oof. Yeah, see, this is why I didn't like the Turtles in the Skies, too. I might have to switch out his head because his other head looks really good. Um, if you look at his face, I just don't like how that looks. Those lines are just yeah. so far out there. It looks like his jaw is falling off. I'm just not a fan. So I kind of wish they didn't do that. I know a lot of people like that. I'm just not a fan. Um, there's scuffs of paint here and there, but he does look good. The red looks really good on him. I do like it, especially with the black lines in it, but I'm just not a fan of that. I would just rather them give me alternate, uh, head sculpts and I just deal with it that way, but he does look cool. These are really cool Ninja Turtle figures. I just, I don't know, you know, the, that face bothers me a ton. So I'm definitely going to be swapping out that raft head because I will show you the alternate one it looks much better. So let's put these two over there. So Donnie's probably my least favorite, then Raph, and then it's it's almost a tie between the last two, but I'm gonna have to go with who I really liked um, as a kid, and this guy now is kind of who I like now. Um, so Leo is probably my favorite turtle now, just cause I feel like you grow up, <sighs> Lord. And he's just, you know, he's the leader. He's really cool. It is also really interesting that they just kind of put random faces on them. They don't all have the same face in the box, which is cool with me. Um, his paint looks really good and his face looks really good. So to me, that is what I would want. His face looks solid. Raph's does not look good. Leo's and Donnie's does. So again, I'm going to probably switch out some head sculpts here. But Leo looks really good. I do like Leo a lot. And here's a side view of him, and we'll get into accessories after I pop open Mikey. But Leo is probably my favorite now. He's just really awesome. Leo is really cool, and he has swords. Honestly, the swords are my favorite. So, really cool. There he is. You can see all of them there. And let's do my favorite from growing up, and probably still now, is Michelangelo. And that's because he is a goofball i love it i love mikey he is just awesome oh man he's very stiff as well um we're not breaking a figure today i'm telling you that right now so but again his face i hate it i abs his head i hate it it just honestly to me looks like they didn't finish putting it together that's what i think about these alternate bottoms look how open yeah, the, even the so top bad. even if you look on the top there just it mm -hmm. looks terrible to me i'm not a huge fan at all uh his other face sculpt that's kind of a bummer because leo's oh, i'll just show you when i pull him out but that's that's a big bummer i'm not a not a fan of that at all i'm still not a fan so <clears throat> let's uh get some accessories out again uh you're gonna have to see if you really want to get this pack or not if you have turtles in the skies you have some other turtles there's not gonna be a ton of difference obviously coloring here and there probably some accessories here and there but NECA just likes to keep popping out these Toon Turtles, man. And that's because everybody keeps buying them. So, let's... I d will say, with these Toon Turtles, that is how you do a nunchuck right there. Yep. I, oh, let me get this plastic off. That is how you do a nunchuck. Those are fantastic. I wish McFarlane would do a lot of uh, accessories like that with an actual chain. I think that is just awesome super cool the nunchucks are 
fantastic. Oh, they did do this. Okay. So this whole piece on the top comes off. This is the one thing about these packs too, is there's just so much unboxing because there's so much stuff in them. So let's give Rap his what do you call these? Do you know what they're called? I don't remember. No. I think I always call them his size, but they're not really size. I don't remember. You guys can hate me for that. That's fine. Those look really good as well. I'm just glad they keep giving them weapons. They look huge, though, to me. And I know they're pretty big, but they just look ginormous for some reason today. And... I don't want to bend Donnie's staff, but there's just too much tape. I would almost prefer them to do zip ties than tape, but whatever. Oh, I keep messing up the table. Here is Donnie's. Staff, which of course is probably going to bend on you unfortunately because it is a longer weapon but it does look really good as well i do think they just do a very good job on the weapons they're very awesome i do wish they kind of did something a little different with the weapons because they just uh keep giving you almost the same thing over and over but you know that's what the turtles use and i like them so it's all good it's all good there. And there is Leo with his swords or his katanas, I believe. So those are awesome. Really cool. So you get all the weapons, which is nice. Then you do get... How many of these do you get? You get two. You get two communicators, which let me do this. We're going to move the turtles back. So we can show the rest. You do get two communicators here, which those are pretty solid. Interesting, you only get two and not four, but I'm okay with that. And you do get this, which I don't know if this, yeah. So you do get four communicators, actually. You just get two that are open, and you get two that are shut. So um, I could have dealt without those. I don't think they bring you much there, but I get it. Totally get it. Especially for toy photography reasons. Okay, you do get... I did missed you, it. You missed it? But okay. I got, like, just... This hit me in the face, guys. <laughs> so, you do get the grappling hook, which is cool. And that is cool, too. It does come open like this. And you do have actual string here, which is cool. So, that's not bad. Um, and then these just tuck right back in. So, that is cool. I do really like that accessory a lot. There's a, another accessory in here that I'm super stoked about. It's really cool. Dang it. That's what I was afraid to happen. Again, just too much tape. So you do get alternate hands, um, which is really cool. And I think I still lost one somewhere. Possibly. It's underneath you. It's close. Under, ah, found it. Okay. So you get a thumbs up hand. You actually get two thumbs up hands. Which is cool. Probably throw one of these on Mikey for sure. <clears throat> you get another hand that will hold. And the one thing about the hands, which I like, is I mean, they're all interchangeable, which is really cool. So you get another open hand right there. Do, do, do. You do get a. 
two pointer fingers, both left and right, which is really cool. Man, if I can just get rid of all this tape. get I'm gonna say a high five hand because that's kind of what it looks like to me since they only have uh, three fingers two high five hands and a whole bunch of zip ties okay now the really cool stuff we are gonna pop out now which is awesome so of course you're gonna get your slice of pizza which they're gonna give you a slice of pizza every time what is cool is there's a hole on the back so I believe, let me just see real quick. No, there's something on the box. Let me see. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so boom, there you go. So that's really cool. I do really like that. I kind of wish it could go on their finger as well, but that is awesome. You do get the canister, kind of boring. I'm not a huge fan of the canisters from the tune line just because, you know, I mean, I get what that, why they look like that, but um, it's just not like the movie ones that just have way more detail. And now we'll bring out the alternate heads. And this is what I'm talking about. So this Mikey head is definitely better, but it's kind of a bummer because this is not the expression I wanted Mikey to have. I'd rather have the head on he has now, but you can still see the creases in his cheeks there. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, let me see Raph again. Yeah, see, and I would rather Raph have the head he has on now, but his smiling head, which you get, is super solid. You can't really see those lines nearly as much, so kind of a bummer. I'd wish those two would have swapped, but I guess, you know, it is what it is. You might want to look before you buy them. Um, and then Donnie's open mouth isn't terrible. But again, you still get those really harsh lines on the cheeks. But honestly, I would say Leo's looks the best. And I am super happy that his pissed off look face looks as good as it does. That one is really solid there. Super cool. I'm probably going to switch to that head. <clears throat> then you get, and you get two of these, which is pretty cool you get the whole pizza box and it does say Vinny Vinny's on the back, which we will show. The box doesn't shut, which is kind of a bummer. Um, it is kind of hard plastic, so you can't really shut it. It looks like you could, but you it will snap easily. Like they put hinges on there, but then they didn't. Um, this one is almost exactly the same, except it says Ninja Pizza on the back which is really cool as well but those are really awesome and the last and final thing in the box which is pretty cool and i believe it's for mikey is his uh nunchucks kind of yeah what it was spinning i guess yeah. the only thing though so there's a little peg there i'm not sure how you connect this honestly like does it wouldn't make sense just to go on here because then you have nunchucks hanging down um interesting it doesn't show on the box so my bad i'm not too sure exactly where that goes in um it doesn't maybe on a finger but i think the fingers are too fat for that so yeah, I'm not too sure. You got any ideas? Um, yeah, I don't know either. Like, it almost looks like it would go onto here. That's the only place it would look like. So maybe you can take the chain off. I don't think so. I don't think so either. I don't know. But we'll have to play around with that. And if I find out, I'll let you guys know. But that is a really cool effect. I do really like it. And it does spin. So really awesome. So... 
So for 160 bucks, you are getting the four turtles with their weapons. You're getting alternate head sculpts. For each one, you're getting one, two, three, four sets of hands, four communicators, the vial of ooze, and this is one of my favorite accessories right here, the grapple, which does open, which is cool, and the slice of pizza, which you can put on Raph's weapon, and the two boxes of pizza. So, I mean, it's not bad. I do really like them. I just, again, the head sculpts kill it for me. They really do. I'm happy with this set, though. I'm definitely going to keep this set. I think they look really well done, but they are very tight. So I didn't do no articulation for you guys, but a lot of these turtles are exactly the same. There's not much difference. You'll definitely have to heat those up, unfortunately. Muckman, you're fine. Shredder, he's fine. He's got a little ankle issue, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> so that's what we got. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I'm pretty happy with it. And keep checking those targets because Holothon is still going on. I know a lot of them were supposed to put them out this last Friday and they didn't or they did before Friday. So depending on where you live, you might have missed out on a bunch. Maybe you didn't, but I'm sure more are going to get released. So just stay patient. Again, don't pay those scalpers. I found these and this actually pretty easy. I also did find Pizza Monster and some others. So we are going to keep searching for Elvira though. So And the mummy. And the mummy. The mummy looks really cool. So again... Uh, follow me on Instagram. Link will be in the description below. We'll definitely do a picture. I, I kind of want to do it with these two because they are just really cool. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, like, comment, and subscribe. All of you who keep watching me are just fantastic. I love it. I'm starving, though. We're going to go, go, uh, go, go gadget. No. <laughs> what are we going to go get? Sushi. sushi. So we're going to go eat some sushi. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. It is gorgeous where I'm at right now. We're going to eat some sushi and spend the rest of the day outside. So again, thanks for coming. I love y'all. And as always, collectors never stop collecting.